All right, guys, I want to take you through a quick little uh, setup here on how to open a local file. And I, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it. What I'm going to show you is, is kind of my process for figuring little things like this out in uh, FileMaker. It's not too challenging. So I do have um, a file on my desktop called car.jpg. So car, it's a, just a picture of a sports car. And that's what we're going to try and open. So I'm going to go to the script workspace, and there's a little... Um, a little preview of what we're actually going to do. But I'll create a new script here. I'll just call it test script. And so we're going to test some script tools. So the first thing that we want to do is set a variable. Okay. And the reason why I'm going to set a variable uh, is because then we can use it throughout the script. We can change it. There's things that we can do to it. And I'm just going to call that path. And then uh, I'm going to start by get desktop path. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to uh, establish a path, a network path, things like that. But get desktop path is pretty quick. And there is a um, uh, there's that file on my desktop. So we'll we'll try that. So get desktop path and then uh, and and then let's just try car dot JPG and see if that works. OK and then click OK, and then a couple of line, lines down, I'm going to go to open URL. Okay, and I'm going to leave the dialog on, and then I'm just going to set that URL to path. Okay, I'm going to save this, and I can debug it or run it. If you have the FileMaker Advanced Options, you'll be able to debug. We can run, and here it is. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK and see if that works. It does nothing. Okay, so let's try this again. So we're going to go to back to the script workspace, and I'm going to go back. And uh, I feel like one of the things that was a problem, if I run this again, is I've got this little guy at the beginning. So if I just, since I have that uh, show dialog on, it gives me a chance to edit this. I can delete that and click OK. Oh, and there we go. There's the car. Okay, so that kind of worked. Uh, it would require our users to go and delete that forward slash all the time. So one of the little things in FileMaker that I'll just get right to the point here is that we can actually add this. We can go file colon and then just putting it in the quotes there just means that, you know, this is just text and then the, uh, the ampersands here are connecting these sections. So we've got file colon and then connect that to the desktop path and then connect that to the car.jpg. Okay. I'm going to click OK there. OK there. Save that and run that. Okay. File colon. Let's see if that works. And it does. So the important thing here, a couple of important things. First of all, you need this file colon for uh, local stuff. I'm on a Windows machine. I'm not 100% certain if it's a, a, also a Mac thing. Um, and then uh, another thing, too, is that having that dialog on while you're testing allows you to kind of see that path and uh, make minor changes to it and kind of figure out what you need to do. Um, now, one last thing that you may need to, to know uh, is that let's say this isn't a car. Let's say it's, it's in a folder. So you've got artwork. Right. And then slash r dot jpg so you could do something like that as well and then uh, let me actually go just put that in the, in the artwork folder i'm doing this off screen here put the r in there so okay okay this should work run it's going to ask me to save it and then there we go so that's and that still works. So it could be in a folder or something like that, just the same. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I appreciate it. Good luck.